What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Amateur here. Welcome to you back to another episode of the Danganronpa playthrough. Last episode, we got to be a, have a free time moment. So in our free time moment, who did we decide to talk to? None other than Chihiro and Celeste. So in this episode, we are going to be continuing on our spiral, and we're going to see where we can head. I don't know where we're going to go, but that's what we are to find out now. So... Are we going to have breakfast, or did Bakura completely kibosh it? Or do we now have the option on whether or not to go to breakfast? You know how cool that would be if we got an option? Like, do you want to go to breakfast or not? But it's... I don't think we're going to get the option, but... I went to the breakfast meeting, same as always, but... Is this everyone? I feel it's a little small. By Akira and Taka stormed off yesterday, and it, it was not, it wasn't too surprising, as they hadn't come today. The, even the table looks bigger somehow. I assume it's because three people are dead and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would kind of feel pretty empty. Mm. Still, I know by Kira whatever. I I know by Kira's whatever, but shouldn't we check on Toko? Seriously? I vote no. She's super annoying. How can you be so cold? You're like a piece of rock candy. You hear me? What? No, rock candy isn't cold. It's sweet. Uh, anyway, Bayakira is the real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill somebody. You can see it in his eyes. We got no choice but to get some rope. We're going to have to keep him bound and gagged. I think that's going a little overboard. Count on it. He's right. In this situation, nothing scarier. When... When allies turn loose to into a loose cannon, it's just like when it, we were kids and someone would go crazy at sports day or whatever. What, what are you even talking about? You're gonna lose the rope of tug of war or something, idiot! It can't be. I am not the, an idiot. You're the idiot. Who Can are you, you calling stupid? Huh? What's wrong, Chihiro? You don't look so Aww. great. Oh, I'm just going through a little uh, self-loathing period. Huh? Self-loathing. Well, after what Baikira said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous I locked up and couldn't say anything. Mondo ended have, up having to help me out, and he said I was someone who can't fight back. Aww. I hate how weak I am. Ah, oh, I see. So Mondo made you depressed? What? what? How is it even my fault? Hey, I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weaker anyway, right? Are, are you crying? It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. Uh, hey, come on. Hey, come on. Don't cry. It's my fault, okay? I won't yell anymore. Mm. Really? Not sure I can believe that one. Just shut up, Owie. What? I got it. What? I will make you a promise as a man. Huh? Pro promise as a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing that my brother told me. Over and over again, he said, "No matter what, a real man always keeps his promise, and that's what he left. Me. That's what he. That's what he's left me. Yeah. Left you. Oh yeah, my brother's dead. That's oh, I true. see. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to make all you guys cry. Yo. Anyways, so you can trust me when I make that kind of a promise. So you don't gotta cry anymore. Okay. Thank you. Sure. But, but still, I don't." like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. I'm so weak, I can, anything can make me cry, and that's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get or having to get stronger. Um. No, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. In that case, I would be happy to help you out any time. <laughs> but then Mrs. Fugi, er, Fujisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces. <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> Oh, finally cracked a smile, huh? I see. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone, thank you so much. Looks like Chihiro's gotten back some life back. Yeah, man. If we keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to, to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? For what should I do today? More free time, free time. We gotta love our free time. 
free it's time. Okay. So again, I liked the map strategy of last episode, so we're gonna continue to go with it. Okay, so last we can hang out again. She's in the dining hall. Toko I actually think I'm gonna go see Toko. Contrary to popular belief, I'm going to see Toko. I guess I should press the doorbell. <laughs> Leave me alone. You just don't have to pay attention to me. Spend time with Toko. Huh. Just to, to do whatever you want, I guess. I spent some time with Toko. Toko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Toko a present? Definitely. What are we giving to Toko? Do you have, like, a book or something for Toko? Caterpillar toy that was the rage years ago. You pull it, it moves up and down, making you look alive. Why did you give me... A letter filled with razor blades while you're at it. Totally unwelcome. Uh oh. I don't think she's happy with that. She's just standing there. Does she want something? She's not saying anything. Maybe she should try to start a new conversation. Um, Toko. <laughs> what? You wa want to talk to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you. you. So talk already. Okay, sure. But what should I say? So, um, what do you do in your spare time <laughs> why do you want to know well I mean you know we're trapped here together right so if we're gonna be friends it'd be nice and to get to get to know each other huh what did you just say um after that part about being tra tra trapped we're gonna be w what uh friends <laughs> uh. what do you mean for friends you think I'm st stupid you're trying to trick me. I've already been hurt once before. I'm not going to let it happen again. You've been hurt. What happened? Anyway. Come on. You, you don't really care about me. You don't want to un to no, 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 about me. Even I know that. No, no, no. It's, that's not true. What Fine. The then to tell me. Tell you what? <laughs> you know why they call me, call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure, you won all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. Then tell me what I'm good at. Tell me what my genre specialty is. If you really want to convince me you give a crap, you should at least know, know that. Your genre and the ultimate spy. Romance. It's romance, of course. Oh, you actually knew. My biggest success was So Lingers the Ocean, right? Your biggest success was So Lingers the Ocean, right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. That book was such a hit with fishermen sh that with hit such a hit that fishermen shot up to the top of the hottest men poles, right? How did you know all of that? There's no way you could care about me. I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? Ugh, I'm blind. Your st straightforward nature blinded me. Thoko ran off screaming like a banshee. Not really sure. Does she hate me now? Your report card's been updated with your, based on your experience with her. You've unlocked th the skill vocabulary. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. We're going to have more free time, so we got to figure out who we're talking to. Hmm. I kind of, I'm like, I'm spreading out, the, I'm spreading the wealth, which I, like I said, I don't think it's a strategy when people are literally going to die, and you, but I just don't know who's going to die. So it's like, I can't just, I can't play it that way. Ooh, Chihiro's in the laundry room. We can hang out with her again. Yeah, we're not, we are not hanging out with you in the boys' bathroom. Absolutely not. Oh, okay, I have two options. I, I really, truly do have... Two true options. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go see Chihiro again. 
I know that's the second straight episode where we've seen Shihiro. But I want to get to know Shihiro more. She's literally a software developer. She's going into the field that I literally want to go into. We have a connection on that front. What's wrong? Did you need something? Hmm. Should I hang out with Chihiro? Yes. <laughs> you want to sit down and talk for a while? I spent some time talking with Chihiro. It said a, the title said a boy's despair. So my guess is that men are getting chopped off. So I should really be talking with the men instead of the women, but I don't care. Here, you can have this globe. Thank you, Thank you Makoto. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I've ever gotten something like this. I got the impression she liked it. That's good. <sighs> What's wrong? Seems like you, that was a pretty heavy sign. No. Oh, sorry. It's just everyone else is working so hard to get us out of here, but I'm no help at all. That's not true. But... It's okay. You don't have to try and make me feel better. I know it's the truth. I'm completely useless without the computer in front of me. At least if I were a little stronger or something, then I'd be able to help somehow. Listen, you'll get your chance. I'm sure there'll be a time where your skills will come in handy. So if you don't have to worry so much, okay? My skills might come in handy. <laughs> if I get a chance, I'm going to work super hard to chip in. When it comes to computers, you can count on me. You're right about that. No matter what anyone might else, else might say, you're still the ultimate programmer. Speaking of which, how did you get into programming? Huh? huh? Well, I mean, I've always assumed most programmers were guys, so... Is it really that? Is it, is it really that weird? No, 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 nothing like that. I was just curious. What got you interested in it? I mean, why programming of all things? You know? Why? I mean, there isn't much of a reason. I've always been kind of weak, you know. Never able to run around with my friends or anything. We had a computer at home, so I'd kill time poking around on it. When I found out, I really liked it. Um... My dad was a software engineer, and he had a bunch of programs that were he that on there that he had built himself. I found one of them and started playing around with it, adding stuff here and there. And that's how I ended up making my first ever program. Interesting. What kind of program was it? Um, a kind of a database software. Ooh, I love databases. Oh my god, keep going. You know? A user would communicate with it, and it would take the information it found and find what they were looking for. It was a very, it was a way of interacting with the computer without having to physically type things out. She said it could understand the user without them having to type things out. You use voice recognition, is it? Is that it? <laughs> yep, exactly. You could talk to it, and it could actually talk back. It it was a lot of fun. I didn't realize even I didn't even really sound. It didn't. It didn't even really sound like me. I would get totally absorbed by it. It's like a kid recording themselves and playing it back again. The key part of the program was getting it to recognize what I was saying. The recognition accuracy was the most important thing. Japanese is kind of hard, so it was pretty challenging. But you were able to do it eventually. You're right. Yep. And right around then, my dad found out I'd messed with his software without permission. I thought I was going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> but all he said was how impressed that he was. Software was able to take natural speech and pull it out key search terms and retrieve information. My dad said it worked so well, it was going to change the face of software interaction all over the world. Yeah. The development costs were still pretty expensive, so it hadn't spread that much yet. But anyways, I've been addicted to programming ever since. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy it made me to be able to make others happy. It's obvious how much you love computers. You seem just to light up when you start talking about them. Ah, uh, sorry. I spent all this time talking about myself. No, I've had a lot of fun learning more about you. Huh? Uh, really? Yep. I hope you, you'll tell me even more next time. <laughs> okay, let's hang out again. I pro it's a promise, okay? You unlocked the skill algorithm. Give it yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Do we still have more free time? Probably not. I highly doubt it. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, I highly doubt it, but, you know, it'd be cool. I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I better get something to eat before it's nighttime. Try to the dining hall then, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no
No, 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 no. I don't like this. 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 We're getting. It's out of the normality, and I don't. I mean, I like. I'm somebody who very, very much likes normality. Oh no, 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 no! I just wanted something. I just wanted to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no. I guess I was already roped in. Hey, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? What's going on? I have a favor to ask. A favor? I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's not. Makoto, hold on. I was just about to ask your full cooperation. Freaking guys. I just want my food. Gosh dang it. Talk to Monda first. Come on, Makoto. You've got to be our witness. Our witness. Oh, God. What What? What? What, what am I witnessing? Witness to what? what? This guy's been talking crap about me ever since day one, calling me a coward and stuff like that. You're you are a coward. That's why you're tur you, you turn to violence to solve yeah. your problems. That's why you can't do what society asks you. Why you walk around dressed like huh? that? What the heck did you say? You don't know you crap. You've already lost it to yourself. You, but you're such a coward, you don't even realize it. Damn so you. what? You're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? I know I am. Okay, then. Let's throw down. Prove what you got. Got it. You hear me? I accept your challenge. What? So that's what's happening. Mikado, you gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw... You're gonna throw down? You're not gonna start, like, punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With what? With a sauna inside? I see. I see. A simple endurance contest, is it? it. We're going to see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Gosh darn straight. I just wanted my food. Are you guys really going to going gonna go through this? Stop of course. Yo. He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him, without exception, are all talk. You wanna Bring it on. He'll make... Hell, make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting. We're going to battle with all of our clothes on. Ridiculous. That's idiotic. Suicidal even. What? Are you afraid? <laughs> You're going to regret this. Let's do this. Oh, God. Hey, Mondo. What, asshole? You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? It just so happens I was born with a red face. You don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. Are they okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes had passed. A few dozen minutes. An hour. Don't you think it's about time you gave up? What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. That's probably not good. Hey, um, you guys, I know you both want to prove how big of badasses you are, but don't you think you've done enough? Uh, I just can't win. Oh, crap. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is open. Night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. Oh no 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 no. Point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Hey guys, did you hear that? It's night time. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. You win or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. Listen to you, you son of a bitch. Then bring it on. I'll, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. 
are we going to leave? The gates of hell. That's not a good place to push someone. This isn't good, guys. Yeah, you hear him. Better crawl on back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my my legend. <laughs> Come tomorrow morning. You'll fall down in front of me. Down to your knees. And I'll show you where to do it. Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode. Right back at you. Okay, well, good night then. Bye. Yep, they're dead. They're so dead. It's They're so dead. I really hope those two don't overdo it. I'm pretty sure, but I'm sure to the death. No, surely they wouldn't go that far. Yeah, they're so going to die. They're, they're, well, I think both of them are going to die right here, right now. Bye, Mondo. The concern, the concern stayed with me. It was hard for him to go to sleep because of that concern. Understandable. Valid. If fate does exist, does it mean that your future is decided the moment you were born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't no, know. I'm still alive because I don't know. That's why I desperately cling to life. Why do I feel like Monica was gonna live the one that locked the door? Just thought about that. Monica went to a morning, huh? Hope Monda and Naga survived. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. And when I entered, <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What the? Hey, Makoto. Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Huh? Are they friends now? They've been talking like this all morning. They were all buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. Feels gross. Hell no. It feels great more like. That almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. Forget her, bro. A girl like her doesn't get our manly bond. You hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman can never understand. Right. What you said, bro. That was some. Cool, that was cool as sh I should get a tattoo. No, bro. You mustn't. Your body's a temple given to you by your loving parents. So, um, who won the contest? Who gives a sh Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. That's completely different from who you were yesterday. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like I'd, I'm used to with girls. Yeah, yeah for real. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taco's overpowering powering brotherhood. And all in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. So, what should I do today? Ding dong. Who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. It's Toko! It's Toko, what's the matter? Why are you just so surprised? Am I really that an annoying? <laughs> well, 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 I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing, no, no, knowing that. So it makes it odd, okay? No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. <laughs> I have a f f favor to ask. Do you want to go somewhere with me? And where is it that we will go? Well, the library. Huh? You're looking for some a book or something? Why don't you just ask by Kira? He spends all his time in the library anyway. <gasps> Did I say something wrong? You are not a b -b blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. I don't have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> then let's g -g go to the library. I, okay, got it. The library. Jeez, why is she so pushy today? Good question. <laughs> quiet. Be quiet when you g go in. I don't let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Baikira was there by himself, absorbed in his book. He's here. Oh, he's really here. Okay, Makoto, go talk to him. 
What? What? Stop being being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. He seems really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. Ah, so you've noticed me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Hurry up and leave. And take her with you. Mm -hmm. Hey, um... Bye, Akira. Remember how you said, <laughs> don't we be a woman who dominates weak men? Be a woman who do who be a woman dominated by a strong man. I never said that. But well, actually, I thought it sounded like so something you mama might say. Get out and take a bath. You smell. Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Go before your stench latches them to the entire room. Uh, okay. He really dug into us there. Maybe he's a, in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did she? Re did he really upset her that much? Mm. By Akira, to go that far, <laughs> he must re really be concerned about me. Huh? <laughs> he told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about, about my well-being. <sighs> hey, Mamakota, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Baba by Akira and I would be a good good, good together? Um, well now, I, I don't really know. Maybe. That's just true. There's no, really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That that's how love works. Okay. There might be a come a day when you, you understand. Maybe so someday. Bye bye. Ah, young love. Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? The eager passion can be scary. Sometimes it leads people off in the wrong direction. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. Free time! There's still a lot of time left in the day. Yep. So now we gotta figure out who we're talking to for the rest of the, for the rest of this episode. I know I, I you guys are probably like, why do you get so excited for free time? It's because I literally get to choose what characters I'm interacting with for the day, and you know what? Today, oh, why are you in the warehouse? I don't want to investigate that room. Again, I have a. Everybody's gonna, be, everybody's gonna be so shocked that I'm not hanging out with Mondo, like in my community, in my friend group. But I mean. I'm not hanging out with Hero either. Shoot. I lost track of them. I want to say. That he was in here, Resiny? Yeah. In other words, you know what I'd really like to do? I'd like to find us and subsequently lead an official morals committee here in school. My mission here is to secure everyone's moral fortitude and create an environment to con conductive to study. <laughs> After announcing my candidacy, next comes the election, and I hope I can count on your vote. Boy. <laughs> I suppose we should take a break once in a while. Let's partake in some delicious tea. We went to the dining hall and Taco made us some delicious tea. We're going to give you rations because I feel like you would appreciate them. I see. Maybe I was wrong about you, Makoto. Let's continue to deepen our relationship, shall we? Hmm. Hey, Makoto. As long as we really were talking... Let's really talk what do you say. Oh, uh, sure, that's fine. Excellent. Then let's get down to brass tacks. I've got to find out where we stand on the big issues. 
So, what should we discuss? Politics, the economy, international affairs? Wait, hold on. Is it a big serious discussion? Can't we just have a normal conversation? That, that's the best way to learn about people, I think. What do you mean by normal conversation? Huh, well, for example, what did you like to do in your spare time? Study, of course. I'm a student, aren't I? A student must, have be, must be studying professionally. And of course, my duties of the chairperson and the morals committee keep me quite busy as well. My duty is to foster the environment in which we can all focus on our studies. Okay, what else? Like, what do you do when you get home? You must have some time to kill. I, when I have, if I have time to kill, I study. I see. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, my turn. Makoto, what do you do in your spare time? Uh, well, I need to know more stuff. Watch TV, play video games. Huh, and this helps you study how? No, no, no. It's not about studying. It's just for fun, you know? Doing things just for fun serves no purpose. There's no more to it. You wouldn't spend valuable time doing something unless useless, would you? He can insist all he wants, but in the end, maybe there is a good reason. Like getting into something, talking to people about it. So maybe... You know how use how it's useful? It gives you something you can talk to, about with other people. Something to talk about. Like when you see something awesome on TV, some awesome game... And you want to share it with somebody? You find other people who feel the same way. And that's how you make friends, see? What? Whoa, 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 what? This is ridiculous. I once was blind, but now I see. What the heck? That kind of thing plagued me over years. I tried making friends, but whenever I would make conversation, it would die after a few minutes. Now I've eventually found my answer. I need to study more games and more TV shows. No, you don't need to study them. Ah, I'm ashamed of myself. If there was a hole somewhere around here, I would totally hide in it. I'd let it get to me. I wasted all my time. I never saw a blind spot in my studies. I am a complete embarrassment. I am not qualified to be even on the morals committee, let alone lead it. I don't understand what makes uh, what. It's really not that big of a deal. Thank you, Professor Makoto. Professor, you've taught me more valuable lesson. You've learned my res you've earned my respect as a titled professor. That's gonna keep make things. Th that's gonna make me things super awkward. <laughs> no need to be modest, Professor. I can wait till your next lesson. Until then, I will strive to learn as much as I can on my own. Well then, Professor, by your leave, without waiting for a reply, Dr. Randolph. Professor, although thinking about it, I didn't totally hate it. Professor Makoto, your Taco's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. You've unlocked the attentive influence. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. After we're done, I decided to head back to my room for a while. approaching but before it arrives all students please gather in the gym immediately emergency emergency oh boy gather in the gym now why now all of a sudden i really don't like the sound of this i have a terrible feeling i do too i do too oh boy Oh no. Oh, there's an exclamation point. Oh no 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 no. Last time we started seeing exclamation points, somebody had died. Asking us to gather all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Indeed, he might want us to he might he what might await us this time. Ha! He keeps get things keep getting interesting, that's for certain. How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like, how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? There's actually stuff. There's something totally messed up with you. You can't laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up, huh? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone. But I also don't want to stay here living blind denial day after day. Just admiring how you could live here like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Wait, remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? How did that turn out? 
It seems to me there's no sign of whatsoever of a possible rescue. Well, that's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police would have wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck. Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may just be that powerful. Take control of even the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, I'm gonna say it. It's, like it's about mystery. last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. When all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Mm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. Mm. What What kind of sound? Mm. Well, like I said, I totally really don't know. But if I had to describe it, it, it was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site? Serious. I mean, I could just be making that up, but... I only got barely heard anything. <laughs> you just did definitely made that up. M must have just have been the sound of the ocean in the, that head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? I knew it was Monokuma. I don't know why I didn't, didn't do the Monokuma side mm. voice. He's arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? Yeah. Or maybe a machine gun. Pew, pew, pew. That's kind of the sound of construction in a way. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped, my lips are sealed, and I am fully puckered. Uh, it's a secret. Little secret. Yeah. Fine, let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us here? You don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? You, Before that, you mind if I vent a little? Mm. I'm low energy these days. My stitching even is losing all of its shine and luster. I am thinking it's probably become this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yeah. Listen, can I be frank? The next blackhead hasn't showed up yet, and I am getting bored. So I've decided to find a new way to motivate you. Motive? Or motivate? Is this another set of videos or something? Are you going to show us some of the demented things to try and get us to drive us all for murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say! Just awful. I don't know what you've got planned, but you are not going to kill each other. We're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you say, I swear to God we won't. That's very big talk. Do your best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So, this time, it's... Embarrassing memories and secrets! As long as you're alive, it's given that there's things that you don't want other people to know about you. Uh, so I did a little investigating of my own, and I dug out some of your deca deepest, darkest secrets. And those embarrassing and memories oh. and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now, so take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed over the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside. My entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. What? How? How did you find out about this? Everyone started to take ta talking at once. You have 24 hours, and if somebody doesn't become blackened by then, all of your deepest, darkest, and most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by my, a crowded intersection in a van, strapped with loudspeakers, and spill the beans. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant but to by motivate. <laughs> yep, you got it. A pretty unpleasant trust me. You know, none of you want to reveal this stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we'd never kill over something like that. 
Oh, uh, what did you say? He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's going to murder over some kind for this kind of thing. Uh, oh no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what. So I assumed y'all would be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing the next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can we do? Okay, the next 24 hours I'll expose your secrets and just make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed. Fare not well. With an almost convincing look of depression, of depressed dejection on his face, Monica re received or receded into the gym's depths. Yeah, um, I didn't know what to expect at first, but uh, maybe we just dodged a bullet on this one. Um, I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing, but seriously, not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? To Good news, everyone! I've got a brilliant Good idea. Night. Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here, right now? If we don't, if we do that. Any of, and all motive of the murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Okay, then my embarrassing thing is... <laughs> I don't want to hear your st stupid s s story. What? <laughs> Besides, I don't... I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk ab about mine. As for me... Neither do I. Not because it's unpleasant, but because it's impossible. Well, just it's just a human nature to want to hear when you want to say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. Absolutely not. On, it's okay. On. Just give a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. As I said. Here we come go. on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come hey. on. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. Yeah. What do you think, Chihiro? I'm sorry. Um, I'm s so, so sorry. I don't really want to talk about mine right now. But, but I also don't want to leave things in the way, uh, the way things the way they are. Can we talk about it later? After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. Well, um, if you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about mine either. That's true. If everyone is that much against it, even if my bro is the one who suggested it, I've got to say no. Yeah. But well, that's okay then. Either way. If it's just a few secrets, I'm sure that nobody's going to kill over anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret's so bad you'd kill someone to keep it? Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with the secret talk, but each one out of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, and it's not like we're going to die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I know it's going to be r tough, but... <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, if it's soon the doors to the... Okay, then. So it... hmm. Not time already, huh? Okay, going to call it a day. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I couldn't shake, but we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, headed back to our rooms. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting out didn't have an effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between the passive and active, I mean. For example, it's a difference between, like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. 
Amazingly, there's tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? There's like a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyways, anyone could kill someone in the heat of a moment, but surprisingly, a few can do it in like with calculated intent to make that choice to put, then put it into action. It's way harder than letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve, so many years. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make here? Well, well I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. And with that, oh, morning. Good. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What? What are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun! Mm. And as long as I'm here, I figured it'd end that you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? <laughs> are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy of classmates. What? Say what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Your face is all blue like someone on the verge of death. What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. Something happened to someone? Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No, what ifs are pointless, especially now when... The dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Oh my god, it's still going. This is going to be like an hour-long episode at this point. Ah, uh, uh, Makoto. Uh, um, Are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hino, Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... Baikura? The only ones here? Where's everyone else? Either you're already off... Or either they're trying to already verify what Monokuma said... Or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something. Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder. Hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um. So if everything really did happen, does it mean that someone did it? Because of what probably happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. <laughs> just old memories? Don't be sure about that. Clearly, someone felt it more important than that. Huh? <laughs> to judge someone else's value based on your own outlook, do you realize how dangerous that is? <laughs> w w why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. <laughs> what good does it do to me to go out of my way to help you? Stop saying that already. Um... There's something wrong with him. For serious, did he get brainwashed or something? That's not important. What matters right now is that we had to find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's split up and begin looking. Hmm. The game is afoot. And on that note, we gotta split up and keep looking. But we're gonna do that in the next episode. See you guys then.